let us talk about AEW. I know my beard is a little bit big. Gonna need a little bit of a shave later on, eventually soon, which is probably the wrong time to be shaving. It's the season coming up for some uh, cold, long beards or some hot beards coming up. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about my glorious beard. We're here to talk about AEW because the numbers in the ratings, um, the demos, everything just came out when Rampage, uh, or I should say when SmackDown went head to head with Rampage. Now, the reason I wanna say this video here is because I feel a little bit of explaining needs to be done for those who maybe misunderstand about this war between AEW and WWE. Let us remember, AEW was trying to go for Tuesday nights um, for their product. Um, I don't remember why they got why they couldn't get Tuesdays. Maybe it was I think it was because of uh, uh, the NBA. It was it was something to do with TNT. So they settled for Wednesday nights. So when it was announced, it was either it was pretty shortly after that NXT got bumped to two hours and was given a television show on the USA Network at the same time as AEW. Why is that? Is because WWE wanted to eliminate them as quickly as possible. And like... Let's think of this. How many times have we seen WWE try to compete with people or just, you know, try to eliminate them? We obviously had WCW. WWE, I don't think they ever really saw TNA as competition. So, there's a truck going by. So there's something special about AEW. Now, we all know what's special about AEW. But there's something special about AEW, the fact that they are drawing this much attention that WWE feels like that they need to go after them to do something about them. Um, I feel like I'm selling my eye, I'm sorry. So we had that with NXT and it didn't really work out too well because nine times out of 10, you know, there was so much interest with AEW and what they were doing that NXT was destroyed in the viewerships and obviously the demos a lot of times there was a couple times at nxt one you know and good for them but again let's face it nine times out of ten AEW won all around so much to the point that nxt got ran off from wednesdays and now we're on tuesday nights uh i believe the same time slot and so much to the fact that NXT has completely done an overhaul over their entire division pretty much. Uh, I don't I didn't I don't really watch NXT and I heard it's not as good as it once was some on some days. Um, what pisses me off though is sometimes if I do watch Raw, um, which if you follow me on Twitter you've seen me comment on this before. But whenever they do commercials, they don't show Tommaso Ciampa. All they show is uh Braun Breaker or Von Wagner or and the NXT women. And it's like, where is your world champion, Tommaso Ciampa, who the wrestling fans really like? It doesn't make sense to me. He's the world champion of your product that you are promoting. And I was like, when they do if they do commercials for AEW, you know, or uh, if you watch the, um, the, um, the intro to the show, like after the credits of like whatever movie or... Uh, show that TNT is uh, viewing beforehand. They're like Kenny Omega takes on C Christian Cage, something like that. You know what I mean? If you watch, if you are watching the show at like six fifty nine, you see what they start promoting before TN before AEW comes on. Now let's. Uh, I don't want to make a long video here. You know, I've got. A, I'm just got a little bit of a break from work, and I just figured I'd make this video to kind of give my thoughts on what's going on with the wrestling world as of late. Um, so we all know of Rampage is on Raw. Is, <laughs> I said it's on Raw. What the fuck? What the fuck? We, we all know Rampage. <laughs> That's a botch. We all... Gotta calm down. I'm not gonna be able to get through this video if I keep laughing at that. Holy shit. 
Um, so we all know Rampage is on Fridays after SmackDown. Now, if you listen to Tony Khan and some of the interviews that he's done, he has said that he put Rampage on after SmackDown because he wants people to not have to choose of what wrestling to watch. He wants people to be able to watch all their wrestling. Um, W-Y-W, he, he said. Watch your wrestling. Um, and so Fox... You know, has to kick SmackDown to the curb for a little bit because of uh, was MLB it was something. So they have to kick SmackDown to the curb to uh, FS1. FS1 is the second uh, you know show to the second uh, TV network to Fox, I, I believe, something among those lines. And so you know they they don't get as much viewerships when they you know move over, but whatever, it's fine. Um, but for some reason, you know, they decided we're going to go 30 minutes extra. And I don't know what prompted them to want to do this for the first time ever. I, I, did they get bored and they just wanted to compete with AEW? So let's get to the competition part. So SmackDown, uh, promotes that they're going to go 30 minutes extra with Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks in the main event, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar will also be in the main event slot uh, to sign their contract. Uh, they say that this 30 minutes will be commercial free. Tony Khan has stated that it's the wrong move to make for them for them to go commercial free because that's how they make their revenue. Um, but you know, if they want to, if they want to go for that, fine. Tony Khan says, you know what? I'm gonna go 30 minutes uh, commercial free as well too. I'm gonna you want you want to fight that battle? I will fight there with you. He's not going anywhere extra. He's just doing exactly what they're doing, you know, trying to you know keep up there. And you know what? It paid out. It worked because while I don't have the exact viewership, um, SmackDown did beat AEW in the viewership. However. The key demographic, and, and I don't really pay much attention to the demos, you know, the numbers, they sometimes get confusing for me, but it is kind of nice when you see the demos that they have beaten AEW, not once, on Raw, and the key demographic, which is uh, for the 18 to 49 demographic, which is the most popular demographic that you can get for um, a company. Uh, like a TV company, I believe, for that. Of course, it's a TV company. And they beat Raw in there um, either once or twice. I'm going to say once, just because I remember it happened one time. And then, for the 30 minutes that SmackDown was on, because they only went 30 minutes, hopefully we never get a three-hour SmackDown, they have dug Raw in almost in the ground with three hours. And let's hope they don't do it to SmackDown because SmackDown is honestly um, the better show between Raw and SmackDown. <coughs> <coughs> Something tickle in my throat, sorry. Um, it's obviously between those two, it's the better brand uh, because of Roman Reigns. Roman is amazing. Um, he's just come so far as to what he has done. Um, but then we see today that AEW Rampage beat SmackDown in the 18 to 49 demographic for that 30 minutes that they were there. This is impressive, guys. Don't tell me it's not impressive. I don't care what, you know, WWE fans will say, oh, it only happened the once. Dude, it only takes one time for it to grow into two times. This this is impressive, guys. I mean, AEW, let's face it. They've only been around for, what, two and a half, two years now? Yeah, they just celebrated their second anniversary. Their two-year anniversary. They just celebrated it. They, they've been around for two years. And they're, and they're already starting to match with WWE. Maybe not in the viewerships. But eventually, it could get there. It's not going to happen right away, but it, it's going to take time. And I don't want to say that, oh, they're going to run WWE out into the ground. They're going to run them out of business. No. No, I'm not a fool. 
I'm not a fool to say that, you know, willy-nilly and throw that around. I don't want them to eliminate WWE. But I'm hoping that AEW being around will kick WWE's ass into thinking to them, why is this company getting so much traction? Why, like, eventually, you got to think about it. TV sponsorships that are with WWE, they might eventually see that the company is losing their viewership and like, what's this AEW promotion I keep hearing about? Maybe we should go over there. It starts with that. You start taking away WWE's money, maybe they'll start paying attention and want to do better. Because, and you're never going to be able to take away WWE's money. They have Saudi Arabia. Okay, they have the show coming up this Thursday, I believe it is. And I didn't watch Raw, but I was furious to know that they eliminated Shayna Baszler. You just started giving Shayna a good push, and then she loses. And it's like, you, you lose your faith in them. And that's why I don't trust them to do things anymore. Because anytime I feel like, oh my god, that's pretty cool. I've been waiting for this. And they just throw it away. But we're not here to talk about Shayna Baszler. I didn't watch Raw, so I can't really comment on I can't really comment on anything really because if I don't watch it, I feel I have no right to say anything about it. But this is it's impressive, guys. To see this company that has grown up so fast. It has so much traction with social media. It has so much traction with um, viewerships. And yes, the AEW Rampage uh, viewerships have been going down as of late, which I really don't like, you know, as an AEW fan. Um, I get that it's Friday night and it's, you know, nine. it's a 9 p.m. slot for me here in Chicago uh, after the SmackDown. For some people, it's a 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock slot. And some people would rather be out, you know, at a bar or something, wherever they want to go on a Friday night. So I understand that the viewerships, you know, are going to be a little bit lower, but I'd like to see them get back up there. But, I mean, for... We're not here to talk about the viewerships. So for the D WWE fans who just want to toe the company line, congratulations. You beat uh, AEW in the viewership. Congratulations. But you lost in the 18 to 49 demographic, which is also very important. Those viewerships are important, but the 18 to 49 demographic, the, those, are really, those, are, those are important numbers. I don't... You know, I don't really know much about demographics and really, but I do know that those are very important. And I just, you know, wanted to make this video just to, you know, comment, you know, just about how AEW is competition. And you can't be denying it. You can't just cover your ears and say, la, 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 la. Don't, I don't want to hear it. You don't, maybe you don't want to hear it, but they're real. They're here. They're not going anywhere. They just, they just keep growing and growing, and the the talent that's there, you know, most of them are happy. You know, I'm sure there's a couple of people that you know might be a little bit upset with you know that they're not always on TV or something. Um, but at least you get these fresh matches. You could and then and like CM Punk and Matt Seidel. Let's be honest. We all knew CM Punk was gonna beat Matt Seidel, but you just wanted to see the match and they put on a great match it was awesome it's like when you watch AEW you can nine times out of ten guarantee who's gonna win the match and you know even though you know who it's gonna be who's gonna win the match nine times out of ten they still put on a banger performance and you're not getting, you know, a roll-up finish nine times out of ten with AEW. With WWE, you get those roll-up finishes, and you get those disqualifications and everything. And it's just not cool, man. When you just get those disqualification, non-finishes, it just makes you feel like, what's the point? Why did I watch this? You know, there was nothing that really happened. So you don't really like those moments. But, you know, it, it's just... It's amazing to see how far that this company has has grown from the all in show to creating so it first started with Jericho and Omega in New Japan with Tony Khan seeing that and then there was talks about 
something happening later on. Then All In happened. And then we had um, Double or Nothing and so on and so forth. It's just amazing to see how far this company has grown and what it's been able to do. And I'm just hoping that WWE just leaves them alone. There, no, there's no need for the competition. Let us fans argue for you. Just focus on your product. Just do better. The better you do, the more people want to watch you. That's it. That's it, buddies. That's it, WWE. That's all you got to do. Focus on you. Keep doing your thing. Get better. Just, you got to get better. Otherwise, you're just staying stuck. And nothing's in advancing. So, I just, I'm just hoping that, you know, they don't want to compete no more. Because it's not that, you know, that they can't compete. And I, I'm not saying I'm scared for AEW. I'm not. I'm just hoping that we don't have to be arguing, that we, we don't have to be doing this. We could all watch our wrestling, like Tony Khan said. You want to watch SmackDown and then go watch Rampage? Do it after the show. There's no need to be, you know, wrestling with each other. No pun intended. Just take turns. We can all get along here. You air you air Mon you air Raw on Mondays. AEW airs on uh, Wednesdays. Yes, they have their YouTube show, but you can watch YouTube. You could watch AEW Dark Elevation on YouTube while you're watching Monday Night Raw at the same time. If you wanted to do that, that's totally up to you. You don't even have to watch Dark Elevation live. You can watch that after Raw if you want to, or you can watch it on Tuesday. You don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. You know, choose. You shouldn't have to choose which one you want to watch. AEW has been trying to, you know, play it safe by just, you know, not picking the same slot as uh, as Raw or SmackDown. They're trying to, you know, let fans watch what they want to watch. Simple as that. WWE keeps trying to come out for AEW. Why is that? Don't tell me they're not competition when Vince McMahon keeps trying to compete. And maybe he popped the champagne and celebrated about the viewerships, but he's got to be hating the fact that people are talking how Rampage beat them in the demographics for those 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure he's not happy about that one. So, you know, last time, he, this time he pushes, he punishes NXT. Is he going to punish Ramp? Is he going to punish SmackDown for losing to the AEW with those Ramp, with those uh, demographic numbers? I doubt that, you know. I'm just trying to find funnies. Anyways, guys, just... I'm just hoping that we don't have to, you know, have them compete like this anymore. Just everyone take turns. You do your thing. They'll do their thing. Leave it alone. Let it, let, uh, let wrestling fans on social media, let them argue about this, this brand, this company shit. All right? The company themselves, just focus on your wrestling. Just focus on each other. That's all we gotta do, okay? But again, don't tell me that AEW is not competition because you're just lying to yourself. You're just trying to toe the company line and you don't work for the company so you don't have to, you know, kiss ass to them. But again, NXT tried to compete with them. They're no longer on Wednesdays. Um, SmackDown tried to compete with Rampage. They lost in the demographics. AEW has never, never tried to challenge them. WWE keeps trying to challenge them. So again, don't tell me there's no competition when WWE keeps trying to shoot off their bullets and AEW has their shields up and protecting themselves in the good way. They got their shields up. Not like they're scared. <laughs> just, just pointing it out there. So anyways, guys, I mean, just... This is a video just for me to upload to YouTube, just to, you know, get some of my thoughts. You know, if you want to leave a comment down about anything, you can call me an AEW, Mark, kiss ass, whatever you want to do. Totally up to you. Um, but make sure to cough and drop that like button, or maybe some, you know, big time WWE fans who hate AEW will uh, cough, and drop, cough and drop the dislike button on me. Ouch, that would hurt my widow heart. And make sure to subscribe because, you know, I got plenty more coming. I'm hoping to get back to my AEW Universe mode pretty shortly. Just I've been uh, dealing with, you know, some uh, with work related stuff. And um, also, again, with the Wi-Fi, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to record today. 
hopefully I will be able to do so without any interruptions. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for me. You know, peace.